to 8 p.m. last night. Uh, all was good. <laughs> we had uh, a total of uh, 5,173,413 tests undertaken in New South Wales. And again, up to 8 p.m. last night, there had been zero uh, locally acquired cases. Three new cases were acquired uh, in hotel quarantine, but they were all from overseas. Um, during the day, uh, however, there was the, uh, the usual um, swabs, the daily swabs that were implemented quite a few months ago now, of all of the quarantine staff. And then late uh, in the evening, there was a, uh, an apparent positive result of a 47-year-old security worker who works at uh, uh, a number of hotels. The two of interest um, are the Sofitel Wentworth and the Mantra Hotel at Haymark. Um, the testing uh, is obviously being followed up and checked. Saliva testing, uh, um, of course, uh, is, uh, is, is a, an appropriate form of testing on a daily basis, but uh, sometimes does have results which uh, need to be further clarified. And of course, uh, that means we uh, do follow-up testing. That follow-up testing has been undertaken, um, but results are uh, not available as yet. We did think that it was more important that we uh, at least get the news out that there is an issue to do with this particular security worker. Um, <clears throat> the gentleman uh, was um, um, so he tested positive yesterday. Uh, normally, we would go back to about the uh, the eleventh, so a couple of days before that, in terms of the forty-eight hour to seventy-two hour uh, likely uh, possible infectious period. But uh, in order that uh, we can do a full spectrum of testing, uh, the health, uh, health people are going back to the 8th in terms of his contacts. And um, that's obviously being worked through at the moment. There'll be some information that Dr Chan can give, but there'll be more information unfolding possibly later in the day and early, earlier tomorrow. Um, I did, did just want to indicate too that the guard was, um, was vaccinated uh, on the 2nd of March. Um, which is uh, obviously uh, good news, um, but uh, uh, you should all be aware the, uh, the antibody reaction that's required from vaccination doesn't uh, uh, get confirmed or doesn't achieve its maximum for some time after the first and indeed the second vaccination. So he would be having the Pfizer vaccine at that period um, and we would expect that he would be uh, due therefore for another uh, vaccination next week or so. So. Um, as we've said all along, uh, vaccination helps, but it, uh, it doesn't necessarily stop you. It certainly after, stop you getting the, uh, the virus. Um, the purpose of vaccination, of course, as you'd all be well aware, is to make sure that uh, when you've had your two doses, uh, in case of Pfizer or AstraZeneca, two doses, two doses um, it makes you far less likely um, to get as sick as you would get and far less likely to die. Um, at this stage, then, we are continuing the investigations in regard to the security worker um, and to his close contacts. Uh, pleasingly, um, his, uh, his family at this point have indicated or have tested negative, and that's uh, a good indication. But uh, until we've done all of the necessary investigations and got the, uh, the uh, genetic so sequencing done, it's hard to actually uh, provide any uh, clear indication as to source, which is why the uh, the extra time is being done in terms of going back further.